we're seeing, of course, these days is the the search by the mining companies for um, for sources of supply in ever more complex geographies. I mean, we're looking at uh, companies now exploring in places such as Western Africa, or all through Africa, in fact, Central Asia, uh, South America, wherever there is uh, sources of supply. At the same time, you're actually seeing countries here that are bringing in new terms of regulation in terms of either um, protecting their, their country's sovereign, uh, sovereign national assets, and we see that in a, new, a number of countries now, for example, Indonesia, uh, we are seeing now uh, countries that are actually bringing in uh, new forms of revenue raising uh, in various manifest manifestations. Um, and this, this is a reality that the mining companies are now facing up to. And the issue for them is how will they, how will they respond to that? Access to labour, access to the work, access to workforce, access to resources that will actually travel to some of these remote locations is a huge issue being faced right now in the, in the mining sector. Uh, you, you've got um, uh, Generation Y that really wants to work just within capital cities, I've got to tell you. Um, we, and you've got assets that are in places such as you know, Central Asia, Western Africa. I mean, these are the new centres of mining these days. And it's how do you actually get people working in those, workforce, in, in those remote locations? Uh, and the answer is it's, it's complex. You know? uh, you've got to look at accommodation issues there. You've got to look at the actual flying flyout scenarios. Most mining companies are now moving to fly and fly out in those types of, in those types of places. Um, and they're facing large turnovers of, of, of staff. And in some places, if you've got fly and fly out populations there, you're looking at 50% turnover of staff. Yeah. And this is in, an, in, in, in a world economy where the number of project, capital projects that are competing for resources is at levels that we've never seen before. When mining companies these days are actually exploring and developing new assets. At the same time that they're doing that, they really have to go in there. So mining companies cannot explore or, um, or develop without going to, in, going to those locations without remediation plans in place initially. That is the new reality. Uh, second thing is uh, having the, the plans around uh, the environment, the environment impact statements in place, uh, having plans in place around dealing with indigenous peoples in terms of the local communities. Uh, you know, the, these, are, these are paramount in terms of you know, the issues that mining companies are facing. You've got so many organisations, so many mining companies that have actually grown from basically small capitalisation, a $500 million turnover of businesses, uh, and they're now capitalisations in the 10, 20, 30 billion dollars of capitalisation. They're, you know, they're right in the top you know, 100 companies in the, in the world. And the issue they face is, is around growth. How do they grow? How do they grow their business in, in such a way that it doesn't collapse under the weight of this, you know, the, uh, under the, the weight of expectations of shareholders, under the, the sheer pressures around their organisational design? So there's a, there's a lot of organisational design issues here. There are a lot of issues in terms of the getting in place the, the, the right infrastructure of their organisation in terms of the right people. Uh, the right reporting systems, the right processes in place, the right controls in place to actually say that they can grow and they can just be sustainably growing going forward and taking advantage of this, this opportunity that's here in terms of probably the, the, uh, one of the greatest booms we're actually seeing in modern times. Mm -hmm.